Hi, this is Matt, and today we're talking about 1 Nephi chapter 17, and it's really an example of faith versus no faith. Nephi and his brothers, of course, are the subjects that we'll look at. They've just completed their, their journey through the wilderness, and it's a, a perfect example of what it means to have faith in Christ and be willing to exercise that faith versus having no faith and having the view of the world and the, the, the view of the flesh, essentially. As, as Nephi and his family complete their journey through the wilderness, it's been a long time. They've, they've trudged through a lot of sand to get to the ocean. And Nephi is commanded to build a ship to carry them across the ocean to the promised land. And his brothers have, have no, uh, no willingness, I guess, to, to believe that he can even build a ship. And they begin to mock him like, you, you, you're an idiot, Nephi. You cannot build a ship. You've never built a ship. There's no way you're going to carry me and my family in this ship across the ocean. We're not going to help you build a ship. You're, you know, you're, you're just like our father. He's led us through the desert, and, uh, and now here we are, and, and we're essentially stuck. So um, it's, it's ironic that, that Laman and Lemuel had enough faith or willingness to go with Lehi, but they would never, um, they never got on board with what he was go- doing. You know, they, maybe they should have gone back to Jerusalem, but um, always there, but never supporting, always opposing. And um, again, kind of the, the world view, because they couldn't see the things of God. They couldn't, uh, I say couldn't, it wasn't couldn't at all, they wouldn't. They refused to humble themselves enough to ask God to say, is this really true, and, and if so, then, hey, I'm willing to be on board. I'm willing to be on board, God, if this is really true, and if you'll you'll touch me with that uh, spiritually. But they weren't willing to even go that far. They weren't willing to ask God if, if there was something they should get on board with. So uh, Nephi and his brothers get into this uh, debate, essentially, or um, Nephi is, is reminding them that, you know, you've been led through the wilderness by the hand of God. You've been blessed. You've been You've seen a lot of miracles. You've heard the voice of God. You've seen an angel. Why is it now that you, you can't believe any of that when you, you've seen it multiple times over? And uh, he says to him in verse 50 and 51, I said unto them, If God had commanded me to do all things, I could do them. If he should command me that I should say unto this water, Be thou earth, it should be earth. And if I should say it, it would be done. And now if the Lord has such great power and has wrought so many miracles among the children of men, how is it that he cannot instruct me that I should build a ship? Um, so Nephi has no question he can build a ship. Of course I can. I can do it through Christ. I can do it through God who has all power. That's, that's nothing compared to the power of God. So I won't tell you how, how it all works out, uh, but I will invite you to read it, and I'll also invite you to ponder how to increase faith in your own life. Faith is not something that, oh, Nephi had it and his brothers didn't have it. Faith is something that can be cultivated, and it is cultivated as we read the Word of God. The Bible says that faith comes from hearing the Word of God. So as we read it, as we hear it, as we apply it in our lives, we gain greater faith. We gain the the ability to do greater things tomorrow than we could do today. And so, again, I invite you to, to increase your faith in Christ. And until next time, happy reading.